So this is an interesting hand because um, you can see again, I'm back down. I have just over 20-ish big blinds. And you can see that the uh, small blind has me covered. And this Ballad A12, he's a good player. I mean, I think he's a good player. And I end up in a lot of tournaments with him. I don't think I've seen him quite recently. But around those days, I was seeing him like every day. And uh, and so a lot of times, good players, I mean, they know I'm on card runners. They know that I'm good and I'm half decent and I'm going to be making plays. And I know my three bet fold, uh, three bet fold numbers are pretty high. Which be basically, if you're three bet folding a lot, it means you, or if you're folding to three bets a lot, it means you're opening with stuff that's not the nuts all the time. You know, it just means that you're you're opening a wide range from different spots and you're not going to necessarily call off your chips when you open. Um, somebody's calling three bets often. It means that they're typically open. They're either terrible and they're spewing chips everywhere, or they're they're got chips with it, you know, in a hand. Like they're uh, they're basically uh, knows know what they're doing. So now you can see. So I get three bet here. He three bets me, and so ballot a twelve three bets me fifteen five, and buddy in the big line champs. Now I don't, I can't remember what I know about buddy in the big line. But I can tell you the pot's huge here. And I had already made up my mind that I was not folding. That I was going to 4-bet jam here, the, the A7. And so I had already made up my mind when he 3-bet me that I was jamming. So really now there's just more money in the pot. The only issue is in my head or not. But really it doesn't really matter because I was going to jam anyways. And so I'm sacrificing like really another 13k uh, to win what's in the pot. Which is... Uh, 45k right now so i'm putting in 13k more to win 45k now there's a chance validate calls me but i don't think he had anything and i it was my read from the beginning and i want to have a read that you know i'm i'm being bluffed or whatever i'm not going to just change my mind just because this guy spazzes out and sticks his whole stack in i think what happens is a lot of times the big blind they get playable hands and they just say well whatever you know i'm just going to stick the rest in because it's a big pot and it really looks like you're going to you know, if he wins that pot, it's it's going to be, a, you know, a big pot for him. So I jam, I just choose to jam over top. Ballet folds, which is great, and he has queen jack, and I hold, which is also good. Um, the next hand, so I wanted to talk a little bit about sequencing. So now, the other players at the table have now seen me jam ace uh, seven into a three bet and a, and a four bet jam. So I have basically five bet ace seven, all those one very big five bet. Because the four bet wasn't that big, but really, what these guys are thinking now is, holy cow, this guy is like willing to get it in with anything. And so I think what happens is, is that you know your hand values that you're got a call with need to go down, and you need to recognize what people are thinking of you, and it's it's pretty important. So hand two uh, twenty two is basically um, rec I call it recognizing sequencing. So you can see I have ace queen suited. I have just over 30 big blinds. And I open in early position, but we're shorthanded. So there's only two, four, six at the table. And I open ace queen shorthanded and I get a flat call on the button. Now I'm deep and you know I only have 30 big blinds left, but that's enough to fold. And what happens is the big blind, who's got basically the perfect stack to jam here. So there's a raise and a call. He could jam a super wide range here. Typically in small stakes MTTs, they're not going to bluff jam, but he could bluff a pretty wide range here. So he goes all in, and I think Ace Queen's a big hand here. Now, am I going to have him crushed? Not that often. He's going to have low pairs. He's going to have Ace X sometimes. He might have King Queen, King Jack. Um, Ace Queen doesn't crush a ton except for Ace Jack <laughs> because they'll get it in with Ace Jack and King Queen. Those are like the only two hands that he could have there that I have crushed. But I still think that even if I'm flipping, I'm fine with this. You know, like I'm totally fine. Sometimes he's going to have 9 4 offsuit. I mean, that's just the way it is. But I'm totally fine with getting it in here because. The other option is folding, and I just think folding isn't good. I don't, I don't really like the idea of folding. So I get it in here, and uh, he calls with ace jack, and I hit the nuts, which is good.